Uh, yes, Al, what is it? It's that fellow from France. He was here yesterday, but you were too busy. Now he's back again. Well, I'm busy again. Tell him to try early next week. Poor man, don't put him off because of us. Uh, it seems like every inventor in Europe is heading straight for America. He has a letter for you. From the manager of your company in Paris. Oh. Well, okay, okay. Uh, let him in. Mr. Tesla, Mr. Edison will see you now. Hi, young fella. This the letter? Yes, Mr. Edison. Well, it says here, this will introduce Mr. Nikola Tesla. Okay, Tesla, consider yourself introduced. Mr. Tesla, welcome to America. Thank you, miss. It's Mrs. I'm Mrs. Robert Johnson, and this is my husband. Maybe he'd rather see you alone. Oh, no, I would be happy if you'd stay, Mrs. Johnson. What I would like to talk about can be of benefit to the whole of humanity. If you said that anywhere else, Mr. Tesla, I might not be inclined to believe you, but this is the birthplace of many wonderful things. Here we've become accustomed to seeing the impossible come true. You better mind your P's and Q's, Sonny. This man is none other than the editor of Century Magazine. Well, I don't suppose Mr. Tesla has even heard of Century where he comes from. You're French, aren't you? I've been working there, but I was born in Liga. Well, who knows? Maybe Liga is another birthplace of wonderful things. What do you say, Tom? Never heard of the place. It's on the border between Austria and Turkey. Liga is the province. Smilian is the town. Well, you know what it says here? Uh, this is from the manager of my company in Paris. There's a dear Mr. Edison. I know of only two really great men in this world. You are one of them. And young Nikola Tesla is the other. Okay, Tesla, let's come down out of the clouds. You got something to show me? Here, Mr. Edison. As you see, this is a rotating magnetic field. Well, what's it for? It cuts the coils at point A and induces a current which flows to the contact rings at point B. You expect that to start your motor? Of course. And there is no wasted power from long-distance transmission. Uh, you seem to have forgotten something, Sonny. You don't have a commutator. There is no need for one. This is alternating current, Mr. Edison. Alternating? Yes. Using direct current, you'd need over a hundred power stations to light up the city of New York. And even then, the outskirts are left in darkness because direct current cannot reach that far. But with my system, I guarantee that just one power station can light the whole city and the whole state as well. We are throwing the power given to us by nature to the winds. Electric power, in its present form, is not only imperfect... It's unnatural. As I know you will agree, Mr. Edison, we are out of step with nature's harmony. With alternating current, we are talking about energy in an undreamt of degree. We will build new power stations and demolish old ones. It's a giant step forward. It will transform the whole world. Demolish all my power stations? Just because of this little motor of yours? But, Tom... You know what they call me, Tesla? They call me the king of electricity. I've transformed the world already. And everything I have accomplished has been based on direct electric current. You're heading up the wrong street with this thing, believe me. It's, it's, it's a dead end. Where are you going? I'm sorry. I'm very sorry to have taken up your time. I thought you wanted to work for me. 